up folks, I am Ultrazilla and today we have a review and speed build of this Hasbro Zoid Raptor X. Hi my Zillions, once again I'm here with... Ultrazilla Junior! That's right, because we're in the Ultrazilla kitchen. And no, I haven't done these all in a row, honestly. Uh, we've actually spaced them out a little bit. But we're here in, on, uh, I don't know, a weeknight uh, after dinner and we figured let's bang out this last one that I have currently of these Zoids, um, the two Mega Battlers, Mega Battlers, that's what I keep forgetting to say, Zoids, Mega Battlers, Raptor X. Um, the two bigger ones I picked up, the Wolf and the Triceratops, got delayed till March, so... Uh, that's I, when my birthday is? That's when your birthday is, yes. Um, so I won't be getting those, so this is the last one for a little bit. Uh, right now um, that I'll have here on the channel, but not too long. And that's only because uh, I'm only of this initial batch of Hasbro Zoid stuff. I'm only getting the ones that I didn't get from Takara Tomy. Um, although I'm kind of waffling on the Liger because my Liger, I lost a, a piece uh, and I kind of want to replace that. Anywho, really nice box. Let's do a little box art nerd to start. Um, Looks really good. All these paintings have been fantastic. Really like this a lot. Really great drawing. Uh, the rider here is uh, the the leaders, right? Um, so, and they're from the Dark Metal Gang. Um, but these are kind of like the troops, right? Like there's a lot of these guys. Yeah, troops. Right, in the, in the cartoon, in the anime. Um, I don't, does this have a, oh, I'm gonna have to break the box because I didn't bring any thing nice. over, any uh, knife over. And this, but that's okay. That's the, okay. The piece is not that good, though. No, I think this picture's pretty good. That's what you got on the back. This is 27 pieces. I don't really keep boxes anyway, so. We get a bunch of bags in there. This is bag A. That's an A. And you got bag. I believe B. What the? Oh, yeah, I like spikes. And this is probably bag C, I guess. Bag? Oh, or this has these gears on them, um, which means the motor. And you got the, the rider. And then the last piece is in there. Which is usually has been the eyes and an extra little piece. I don't know why they do it like that. And not an extra piece, but because you do need this. They do not provide any extra stoppers like Takara does, by the way. Um, but there you go with that. And finally back here, we get the, the Hasbro Lee stuff. The battle mat that we've seen already a few times. It's just made of paper. Um, I don't love this uh, at all because this battle mat, because the, the Zoid so far have like not been able to go in there, right? Maybe you just can't do it. Maybe I just can't do it. Wise kid, it's possible. So these uh, directions have been really, really nice with really beautiful artwork. I love the manga looking artwork on these. Uh, fantastic kudos to the artists. Uh, if you guys know who did these, please let me know because uh, I'd like to. I am in the comic book industry after all, so it'd be really cool uh, to know who did these because I really do like these a lot. So there you go. That's the directions. Looking pretty good. Uh, again, 27 pieces. So without any further ado, let's build us yes. the Raptor Axe. Yeah.
and there it is, Raptor X. And I gotta say, this one was the easiest mm -hmm. of uh, the three that we've done here mm -hmm. for the Hasbro Zoids. Um, I mean, it's got the least amount of pieces, but definitely still the easiest, uh, I have to say. I, I did like that build. It was fun to put together, except it was not fun to get these little metal pins to stay uh, in these legs. Um, so yeah, that was the only little bump in the road, but otherwise pretty cool. Uh, for one that I really didn't like the Zoids Wild version of, um, you know, and I didn't want to get it, yeah, this, this was cool. This, this looks really good. Uh, I do like it. Looks very, very nice actually. And, and there's the rider, yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I like the tail. That looks pretty cool. It's very nice slippery. The armor is really good. It has, it says Hasbro there. Oh, and you know, I want to note this in the last review because I noticed it. It says 2018 Hasbro. Goes to show you how long I can't even see this it. was in the works. Uh, I don't know what took so long for them to finally come out, but this was in the works for a while. We saw those initial images of the boxes quite a while ago. Um, but yeah, this looks pretty good. I like the ribs, I like the little little Zoid arms here. The legs look pretty good. And they, we're gonna look at that guy in a second. Okay. <laughs> um, the yeah, eyes look cool. Slippery. Yeah. Did I do something wrong here? I feel like a, this is weird that it's coming up. But the armor here, I feel like he looks cooler without the armor on his face in a way. I really like that face. What do you think? Oh, actually. It does, right? It's amazing. <laughs> Hi, that, that's Ultra Zola Jr. <laughs> um, and because you can't cool. really see the eye. Yeah. All right, I get, uh, right, and I do like the eyes. I think the eyes are pretty nice there. I'll leave that off for now. That's mm -hmm. the seat for the rider. Then this part <laughs> does come up for I its uh, dark blast move. The which is a nice, like, I want to see what spike. it looks like with the eyes on. Okay. I never saw it with the eyes on. Yeah, we just had it on. I never saw it. Yeah, you did. Because we just did it. Uh, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Let's get this back in. Oh, that's the wrong side. That's why. Well, let's do this. All right, there you go. Um, but Ultra Zola Jr. is right. You really can't see his eyes well. I do like these little crests up here. That looks cool. So overall, yeah, feet look good. It's got the classic Zoids, like whatever these crossbars here. I do like it. And I like these motorized toys. This, this is Zoids to me. Um, the model kits are cool. The action figures are cool. But this is the stuff I remember from when I was a kid, which I didn't have. <laughs> But I always remember the commercials, and I really wanted them. Um, I remember seeing them in stores. Uh, but, yeah, this is it. The motorized stuff, and, you know, that's what attracted me to the line uh, when Zoids Wild came out. And glad Hasbro's doing it because it's easier to get here. Uh, because the price points are the same. That's what's cool about this versus Takara. The price points are the same, and we don't have to pay the shipping for them. So, I know there's a, they're very far in advance in Japan with them. Uh, but at this point, I feel like, you know, I'm more in with the Hasbros, um, you know, and hopefully things will go well. And if they don't, you know, then we'll, we'll start getting into the Takaras again. Uh, but yeah, very cool. This looks great for sure. The mouth kind of opens a little bit, the tail wags, but that moves with the gimmick, which we will look at now. Before we do that, we got to look at the rider and, uh, that looks pretty awesome. I feel like this is the best one yet. Um, this is really what sets it apart from the Takaras. These anime-inspired riders, really nice yeah, face mask. What's that, bud? When you open his mouth, he does that. Oh, wow. I did not realize that. Ah, good, good job, Ultrazilla Jr. But this guy looks cool. I love his metallic arm and shoulder pad, and he's got these little cat ears, uh, and he's got little spiky hair and purple pants. Cat ears? Yeah, look. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, we'll sit him down because I got to say the the clear riders just never did it for me on the Takaras. Uh, I never used them. I thought they looked so much cooler without the clear riders, but 
Definitely can't say that with these. This is much better. Oh, for sure. Except that his head comes right up against the crest here. That's a little silly. He's like, uh, hey. Yeah, but you know what? I he's do like sleeping? him. That little bit of color. Is he sleeping? I think he's sleeping. Uh, is really cool. And the other piece that comes with this is the key that we've seen Why before. Why you he's not with the rider on? Oh, I don't know. But you would put that in there. Uh, for storage, I guess you would put it here. You know, any place you could find it. That could be like a little blaster or something. Maybe there's a spot on the bottom. Oh, there is a spot on the bottom. You could do that, you know, if you want to give them an extra blaster. Or if, or if you just want it out of the way. Hold on, bud. You could do that. Oh, let's uh, zoom out so you can see it. So I put it back down there so you really can't see it. So that is good. Okay, for the gimmick, here is uh, the little winder. I don't know. What, what do you call these things? <laughs> and you wind it up. And the luckily, go. The screwer. Uh, sewer. Luckily, the sewer. this one moves a little bit better, and hopefully it does move. Um, then the first two I've reviewed, you can check those out for those details, but we will look at that in a second. That's definitely fast. This is pretty fast, and he moves really well, so I'm really, really happy about that. He's actually that. walking. Yeah. Oh, he's, he does. He's both. Uh, oh, he's falling asleep. Huh? Keep on going. So far, since he's doing, he's sleeping. Anyway, for the wild blast part, I guess you move that, and the mouth opens, like Ultra Zilla Jr. said. Uh, and then, you know, he can move again. But I did find when this was open, it had even a little more difficulty moving. The tail wags uh, because the legs move it side to side when they're moving. Uh, it, it's like he, he's a penguin. No, it's not moving that bad. It looks like it's going to fall down. Yeah. But it's a, it's a really funky movement, I think. Right? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, he's oh. looking at me. He's looking at me. Oh. I think you done. <laughs> now, let's see if it moves on the battle mat. Because that's been a little tough. These things are a little smooth. I wish uh, they made them out of uh, either cardboard or Wait, at no, least... I could, I could have it. Or um, if they made it matte, you know? This glossy paper is not doing it. Well, we'll see they about this guy. Just can't do it. No, no, no. I, I think it's because it's glossy. This guy moves a little bit better. But look, he's, he's getting stuck right at the middle there. Nah, Hasbro, you gotta go back to the uh, back to the drawing board on, on these. This this doesn't work. It's unfortunate. It's a great idea and a nice little inclusion that Takara doesn't do, but it's not working on this glossy paper. So, hey, maybe there's a reason why uh, Hasbro delayed um, some of these other ones. Maybe uh, they're repacking some of this. Who knows? Uh, but if not, in the future, if you guys anybody sees this, this is not working at all. All right, so let's wind these guys up. See uh, about a little battle here. We got one of the uh, Takaras here. I actually don't have the uh, other two that I picked up from Hasbro here with us right now because they were in the studio uh, when I did my last haul video. All right, I'm ready with, with this guy here. I'm not ready with this guy. All right, right a little here. scorpion guy, which I really do like. I like this one. Let's see if the Raptor X could fight fight the Scorpion. Forget what they're, I don't know what they're calling it here. All right, let's go. Oh, that's a good one. This is gonna be a good one. Oh, yeah. Who's winning? It's a stalemate. Yeah. I gotta say, yeah. the, the uh, Takara yeah. motors work so much better. They just like work. Um, and these guys keep jamming up when they're down. Like, I don't know why, maybe they are too weak. They attempted to make the motors faster for these releases, but I think in doing so, you lost some of the uh, power to move everything, um, which is which is a shame. But there you go, there's a little, little battle for you. I think it was a stalemate, but yeah, what else? For your size comparisons, here's the Raptor X with a bunch of figures you might have in your collection. 
And our final thoughts. What do you think, bud? Oh, uh, it's good. It's good? It's How good. do you like this? Um, do you like this more than... Uh, it, it walks better. It walks better than the spider and the... Uh, what was it? What was it a bug? Some sort of beetle? The <laughs> um, yeah, it, wor uh, wor it walks better. Phobia and uh, something. I forget the other one's name. Uh, <laughs> Phobia and, and pincers. Pincers. Yeah. Um, so Raptor X definitely is the best of those three, at least. Uh, which are the only three of uh, that I'm getting right now of the little ones. Um, we shall see uh, if the bigger ones are better. But this one's pretty good. Definitely recommend this. I think it's. Out of those three, uh, you know, if you're curious about the line, this is yeah, definitely the one. Ones have uh, no, they'll definitely have more pieces. The big ones, uh, different types of motors with batteries and stuff. So, yep, um, that's it for this review. I do like this one. I think it's pretty cool. So, my favorite of the bunch, and the rider is really good for such a small little figure. So, there you have it. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. And please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peace.